CCIV and Lucid Motors can be considered as the SPAC talk of 2020 and 2021, but in EV competition, more companies are merging and investors are welcoming more manufacturers. Polestar might just be the next big SPAC as it's rumored to go public with GGPI. Polestar, which is owned by China's Geely and Volvo Cars, is in talks to go public through a merger with blank check firm Gors Guggenheim. In today's video, we summed up eight key points regarding this merger and the potential of it. Welcome back to New Vehicle Media, where you find all the booming facts on EVs. Subscribing doesn't cost a thing and liking helps to boost the algorithm. Comments are loved, and the best ones get featured at the end of upcoming videos. Number 1. 25 Billion Valuations Polestar could be valued at 25 billion in an SPAC deal, as the Sweden-based Polestar has already launched its first vehicle, Polestar 1, a plug-in hybrid, and also Polestar 2, which entered production in late March with 25 billion valuation it can sell more for the same amount of dilution. There are so many startups today going pause dictionary public with such a company will build the trust of customers and investors, change it has generated capital for further years, it can also massively de-risk things which will, in turn, help the company to boost this production process. Number 2. 550 Million Fundraising Polestar has raised 550 million in external funding. Polestar said it will be using its funding to speed up its product development and technological capabilities for future cars. They also added that their new investors have understood that all the automobile makers are making the best plans for their EV cars for further development of EV technology. As Polestar prepares to launch new car models in the upcoming years, the funding would accelerate this growth. As Polestar builds hybrid cars in China, Chinese investors Chongqing Chengqing Equity Investment Fund Partnership and Zebo led the funding and were backed by South Korean investor iCube Capital, Polestar said. Polestar also announced that it has plans for additional fundraising and is having discussions with other investors. Number 3. New SUV Polestar has announced its next car, that is the Polestar 3, which would be a high-performance SUV. It also said that it is a large-scale electric SUV which will rival the Tesla Model X and many other cars. It will be going on sale in 2022 and will be built in the USA at Volvo's South Carolina production facility. It would be Polestar's first car which would be manufactured in the US and also it stated that US would be this model's most important market. Also, it's having plans to release it worldwide after the car would be built in China. Polestar 3 has also been tested and is ready for production. The Polestar 3 would be the next huge step for this startup as it comes with an aerodynamic performance, which is something new in the EVs. Talking about features, Polestar said that the architecture would be the same as that of Volvo's new car, the XY90, which is also due with a range of 310 miles and a dual electric motor setup. But it has said that the interior design would be a lot different from Volvo as Polestar wants to become more independent from its parent company, Volvo. Number 4. Volvo Ups Stake Volvo Car Group has bought additional shares in the electric car maker Polestar, bringing the car company's stake back to 49.5%. This happened after Polestar raised $550 million by external funding. With this, Volvo would be returning the level of ownership it had before to the PSD, which is an investment company owned by the chairman of Volvo and Geely, and PSD is also Polestar's second largest shareholder. After the funding of $550 million, its capital rose, and it is said that it would be useful for the expansion for the product development and its technological innovations, as more EV cars are coming into the market. But it is also being said that Polestar is currently having a negotiation with an IPO, and it has also been said that Volvo Cars has no plans to increase its stake further. Number 5. $750 million IPO Gors Guggenheim, an SPAC company founded by the affiliates of Gors Group and Capital, has gone public and raised $750 million via its IPO in March. It began by offering its unit on the NASDAQ on the 23rd of March under the symbol GGPIU which offered 75 million units at $10 each. 
SPAC also plans to raise management experience as it targets a wide range of industries such as technology, automotive, telecommunications, etc. Here, the buyers were allowed to redeem their units 30 days after the initial business combination, but if the company fails to complete its initial business combination within 24 months, it would redeem all 100% of its public share at per share price. Number 6. GGPI – The Next CCIV GPA is trending. The reason it is trending right now is the merger with Polestar, but it is not really guaranteed. It has a stake of $10, meaning that if an investor buys a share of the SPAC merger and the merger fails to identify the target, or if the investor doesn't like the pairing, they'll be able to sell their share back at 10 prices even though Polestar has a higher advantage comparing to all the other startups. If they merge with SPAC, they'll rise even higher. As the rumors of CCIV and Lucid merging heard, the shares raised 550% because of which Lucid was given higher valuation, the same way Polestar also has given a boom to the GGPI, having a validation of $25 billion. Polestar is also generating revenues with other different investors. GGPI could surely be the next CCIV. Number 7. Global Expansion Polestar has plans for expanding its market in the Asia-Pacific region along with the newly announced European markets. It has plans of expanding with Polestar 2 beyond China so that it can gain a very good stability and a good customer trust worldwide. For the markets at different stages, as there are many things to do such as launches and opening of online dates and also the product pricing in different countries, but more importantly, as Polestar said that US would be its main market, it also has plans for expanding in the USA. It would be adding 15 more showrooms this year, the company having its headquarters in Mahwa for now. It currently operates showrooms in Los Angeles, another two locations, but now it has plans for expanding. It doesn't call its showrooms as dealerships, rather it calls them as Polestar Spaces, where you see Polestar cars displayed as museum pieces, and customers can order or test drive and they'll provide a very good Polestar experience for their customers for wherever they're based in the world. Number 8. Acquisition Target Polestar is a good acquisition target as it has good selling cars. The Polestar 1, which is a high-end hybrid car having a price range of $150,000, can go 52 miles with a single charge and also it has a very high-tech automated driving experience. Polestar 2, which is a fully electric having a starting price of $59,000, is affordable and the best EV. It has the support of the government as it uses environmentally friendly alternatives. Polestar has some impressive numbers on the board. In the previous year, they had a growth of around 645 million, which is 600% more than in 2019. And since they also have plans for future cars ready and have good ratings for their vehicles, some tech companies believe Polestar may have created a better EV than Tesla and also called Polestar 2 as the best EV right now. The Wrap-Up Polestar is facing serious competition from multiple other EV manufacturers. The merger is not confirmed yet, but if it does, GGPI stock might have some serious potential for growth. The company has the capability to rise and has some strong fundamentals. It might be competing with other startups, but is more established due to its years of experience. Mr. Slick stated not to like Chinese stocks. What do you think about it all? Will the merger be worth it? Let us know your comments. Also, a quick reminder to subscribe if you haven't done so already. It's free of charge and reversible at any time. And ditto for liking. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one.